Greetings, my scattered sisters and brothers in the Lord. Trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today, and that you know that his presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. I've just been thinking more about these first 16 verses of 1 Kings 17, uh, the story of Elijah and Elijah going to King Ahab, and then uh, the Lord telling Elijah to go to the Kareth Ravine, and he'll be provided for there, water from the brook, uh, ravens bringing him meat and bread morning and evening. And then the brook dries up, and the Lord tells him to go to Zarephath in the land of Sidon, that there's a widow there who will take care of him. And Elijah goes to Zarephath, and there's this widow outside the town gate gathering up some sticks uh, to make a little fire, to bake some bread, uh, last meal for she and her son. And Elijah doesn't know all that. He just asks her uh, to get him a drink of water. And she's compliant. She begins to get him a drink of water. And then he says, uh, bring me a little bit of bread too. And at this, that's just too much for the woman. She tells Elijah that she doesn't have any bread that she's just gathering sticks so that she can use the flour that she has to make a little bit of bread, and that she and her son are going to eat their last meal and die. And Elijah tells her, well, before you do that, go ahead and make me some bread first and bring that to me. And then what you'll discover is that your jar of flour will not run dry or become empty. Your jug of oil will not run dry, that the Lord will take care of you. And the widow does what Elijah tells her to do. She bakes him some bread first, and then she makes some for her son and herself, and she has plenty. And the jar does not become empty. The jug of oil does not run dry in keeping with the word of the Lord spoken through Elijah. And she is cared for all through this drought as she takes care of Elijah. And I think about this and the widow of Zarephath puts the king of Israel to absolute shame. The widow of Zarephath in the land of Sidon, she trusts the Lord. She has more faith in the Lord than the king of Israel. And you may or may not recall, but the king of Israel has actually married the daughter of the king of Sidon, the land where the widow lives. But in that land, they worship Baal, the storm god. And Ahab has started to worship Baal, the storm god, instead of worshiping the Lord, the God of Israel. And so the widow of Zarephath, where the storm god is worshipped, she's welcoming Elijah. She's caring for Elijah. She's putting Elijah first. And she is trusting in the word of the Lord through Elijah. She has put the Lord ahead of the God of her own people. But the king of Israel... He's not listening to Elijah. He's not trusting in the Lord. He has married into this family of Baal, and he's worshiping Baal, sacrificing to Baal, has an altar of Baal built in the land of Israel. And so he is operating from a lack of trust, a lack of faith, even though he's the king of Israel, the people who know the power and salvation of the Lord. And so the widow of Sidon, excuse me, the widow of Zarephath in the land of Sidon, she puts the king of Israel to just absolute shame. She has more trust in the Lord than the king of Israel. She welcomes Elijah, believes in the word of the Lord that comes through him, puts him first, puts the Lord first. Ahab, king of Israel, far from it. So I think about this and I think, okay, on this spectrum, where am I at? You know, does the widow of Zarephath put me to shame in terms of my faith in the Lord and my trust in the Lord? Am I more like King Ahab or am I more like the widow of Zarephath? I hope that I'm becoming more and more like the widow and less and less like the king of Israel. The widow put Elijah first. Elijah brought the word of the Lord to her, and he encountered Ahab as well. Uh, I think about Jesus as the fulfillment of Elijah, and that Jesus is the one who truly brings God to us, truly brings the word of God to us. 
Uh, am I seeking first Jesus? Am I welcoming him? Am I honoring him? Uh, just as the widow welcomed and honored and put Elijah first and trusted him and his word? Or am I more like Ahab, where I've allowed other things to get in front of Jesus? Well, I don't know where you're scattered today. I don't know what challenges you're facing, um, but I pray for you like I pray for me. Lord, help us to be more like the widow of Zarephath and to honor you and to trust you and to put you first, especially as you come to us in Jesus and to recognize that Jesus is our Savior and Lord. We need to seek him, his kingdom first, trust him, and as we do that, we'll discover that he provides more than enough for whatever we might face that day. Well, God bless. Have a great day and become more like the widow of Zarephath and less like King Ahab. God bless.